and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new please stay by hitting the subscribe button just get that in there as quick as i can <laughs> i decided to make an actual effort today to look half decent um so i've put lashes on and everything so i hope you love them <laughs> and i've even straightened my hair i can't remember the last time i straightened my hair so if i keep fiddling about with my hair in this video I do apologize it's just that my hair is not used to being this nice feeling or looking so for today's video I'm actually really excited about this one so I saw a video done by I'm, I feel like I'm going to say this name wrong George Bags. he has been on um goggle box before with his family but he's quite big on tiktok and i absolutely love his page so i followed him on youtube because he recently started a youtube channel and he did a reacting to people's icks and honestly the whole video i was basically just wetting myself laughing so i thought Do you know what i'm gonna ask the girls on facebook instagram and snapchat what their icks are. So I've got a whole list down here on my laptop and I've only read a couple of them when I was copying and pasting them into my notes because you know you can't really help but see but I don't know all of them so this is going to be fun and we're going to see what people have different icks towards. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> the first ick is when a guy smokes cigarettes. I can 100% agree with you on that. I, I don't know. I just find it dirty and it just, it's not a bit of me. The next one is when a guy bites his nails to the nub. Uh, yes, definitely, 100%. When a guy like literally bites his nails and you can see like red skin, it's like, uh, no, that's just, I, I don't like it. When a guy doesn't shower regularly or have general hygiene. Yeah, when you can smell them in the room, that is when they have a problem. Like, sort yourself out. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bit of me. When he doesn't clean around the house or help at home and has to be told to. <laughs> Literally, oh my God. Right, so I'm really sorry if you're watching this, Dom. I have to ask Dom a majority of the time to help me out around the house and yeah he'll do he's quite good when i do tell him to and he'll say like i'm gonna clean the bathroom and i'm gonna take the bins out but literally he'll a few days after he's cleaned and he'll literally just use something and then just drop it where he's used it so if he's getting undressed he'll literally drop his clothes where he got undressed and it'll stay there for like the next couple of days and i'm just like does this belong here no it belongs in the washing basket <laughs> sort your life out um you should see the state of the living room at the minute we had a mcdonald's um takeaway a couple of days ago and we also had a pizza takeaway oh my god that makes me sound really fat doesn't it i i swear to you that's not like a normal thing for us became maybe it is but you know and uh, yeah and he's also recently bought himself loads of weights because obviously he can't go to the gym the whole living room looks like a gym restaurant like i'm not going to show you because he will tell me off but yeah it's bad what's the next one during an argument he's a constant dick and doesn't allow you to say his part yes that is very true i completely get what you mean if there's like a guy on a street that's like rah, 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 you're just like that's not that doesn't look good when he doesn't have a sense of style <laughs> that is true do you know what before i was in a relationship and you just sort of like not looking for a relationship but you just like you know seeing what's on the market one of the things i used to look at first was what shoes they had on. I don't know why, but shoes just seem to tell you a lot about a guy. Like if they've got on, like you know them, <laughs> I'll see if I can insert a picture if I can, but there's a lot of guys that seem to wear, um, you know, like a hiker trainer back in the day. And it's just like, 
Are you are you going hiking? Are you going somewhere? No. Why are you wearing them? <laughs> I just that that gives me the ick. <laughs> Long pointy office type shoes. I agree with you there. Unless you are in an actual office or you are a like a posh event, why are you wearing them? Like I don't understand. Slow replies. Yes, I, for me and Dom, I used to talk to a guy and it could take him literally a week to reply. And little old me thought, oh yeah, you know, when he does reply, I'm just like, oh my God, yeah, he does like me because he's replying. No, if he doesn't, if, if he takes a week to reply, he doesn't like you. Guys who eat a lot of fish slash seafood. <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna lie um it's one of my icks just because dom has got a thing about salmon at the minute and it stinks the flat out and literally he's like oh come and help me cook it would be nice to cook together you know work as a team and he's there freaking frying his blooming salmon and i'm just like that stinks <laughs> no not a bit of me what else we got someone's put chavs yeah, I can completely agree with that. If you have a guy that's like coming up to you and be like, What's up, man G? How are you? What's up, B? In it? What's your snap? Then it's a bit like, I don't have Snapchat, bye. <laughs> By the way, that was a really cringy impression. I am aware. I just, you know, yeah. When someone's big toe is shorter than their second toe. <laughs> I agree. If a guy... <laughs> if a guy doesn't have nice feet, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's just not good news. <laughs> Don't even know. I feel like we can all relate, but we can't explain it to someone who doesn't relate. Like yeah i know exactly what you mean next one is rubbish facial hair if they've got like patches and stuff like that to be fair or if they can't actually grow a beard and it's like look at my beard and it's like one or two little strands to be fair it's not something that completely like turns me off um, I don't like beards and Dom is well aware that I don't, I just don't like them. I still find him attractive with a beard and I've told him that. I cope with it for his sake. Um, but yeah, beards all together for me. I just don't like beards. They just give me the ick, especially if they're like, woo. Yeah, it's not for me. Not being good at massages. <laughs> to be honest, I 100% agree with that. Like, if you're like not feeling a vibe during a massage or say if they hurt you or something it's rubbish dom is actually really good at giving me massages not that he gives me them often now he used to like give me some like shoulder massages and i used to be like he's the one <laughs> so yeah i completely agree with you not being good at massages it's one of my icks the next one is no interest in kids or marriage. I 100% agree with this, right? I have been with someone before and it's just been like, so do you want kids? You know, do, are you interested in getting married one day? And they're like, no, not really. I just see how it goes sort of thing. I'm like, mate, I am with someone because I see a future with them and because I want to have kids and get married in the future. Me and Dom literally set that out on the table on like, I think it was before we even started like meeting up to be fair, because we spoke online before we actually met and we both said that we do want kids and to get married and stuff. So from the get go, we both knew that. Um, I would not be able to date someone who had no interest in having babies or getting married because what are you dating for? Just I get that some people don't want to get married, which is fine. And I get some people who don't want to have kids. That's also fine. 
but in my opinion i'm dating because i want to eventually get married and have kids that's just me though blonde slash ginger hair oh i can't say that i have an ick to that to be honest i don't know i don't necessarily have like a thing for any sort of color hair to be fair i just think if you look after your hair and it's always like nicely styled sort of thing then you know that's great what else have we got being shorter than me yeah yeah i'm not gonna lie um if a guy is shorter than me i'm just like what is going on like i am between five foot four and five foot five the reason why i say between is because every time i've measured myself the past couple of times i've been five foot four and three quarters <laughs> don't know don't ask but yeah so it's quite impossible well it's not impossible it's quite rare that there is a guy that's shorter than me and when that does happen i'm not gonna lie to you but say if i'm in like a club or something and there's like a shorter guy than me i see him as like the comedian one out of the bunch like the one who tries to make everyone laugh and they become like a little brother sort of thing yeah I, I, maybe that's just me i don't know but yeah not making an effort for family events 100 percent so don't want to go too much into it but i used to date a guy and he kept saying like oh i don't know if i can be asked to go to this wedding and i'm just like it's a wedding like are you serious it's a wedding i mean i was i was lucky in the sense that i actually bought him a tie for that event and i basically made him get dressed into you know shirt and trousers and stuff but if it wasn't for that he would have literally turned up in a top and jeans not for a wedding no oh no but yeah i completely get what you mean if they just like turn up late don't bother talking to anyone and just sit on their phones it's like why are you even here what we got next people obsessed with their phone or gaming console like xbox ps uh, <laughs> well my boyfriend i wouldn't say well He's not addicted, but I wouldn't say he's not obsessed. If they go on it like every single day, all day, then yeah, that's a bit of an ick. However, if they just go on it like, how often does Dom go on it? Like four or five days a week, I think he does. But sometimes if he has a day off, he spends like the full day on his PS5. And I'm a bit like, it's your day off come spend time with me but then i have to remember that i literally at the minute i don't work because i'm off sick so i have all the time in the world and he doesn't so he decides to use his time doing that yeah it's i think it's just a way of spending time like doing what they want to do i i can see where you're coming from if they are to the point where they want it all day every day i get that but sometimes it's nice for them to just do something that they want to do. You know, yeah, I don't know. It's not one of my ex. Oh, next one. If he doesn't drive. Oh, I completely get what you mean. Right, so when me and Dom first started dating, he didn't know how to drive. He'd not taken one driving lesson. And I hated driving. So I was like, you know, you want to start learning how to drive, right? And he was like, yeah, I kind of do, to be fair. And I was like, yeah, go for it. And I literally sorted him out, an instructor and everything. Um, and he, he loves it now. So I'm happy that he's done that. But literally, if a guy can't drive, it is a little bit of an ick. I'm not going to lie. Oh, prioritises football over everything. I completely agree with this. If a guy literally watches football 
like every day on the sports channel it's like really i think that's a bit fussy to be fair i think that's just me being fussy because again it's like a hobby sort of thing so the next one is narcissistic completely agree with this one right so when i used to date someone i'm obviously not gonna be like you know exposing but you know um yeah i used to date someone who was i didn't realize it at the time but now i realize he was extremely narcissistic <laughs> okay so i've just read the one down so i've kind of missed one but i just saw it in like the corner of my eye <laughs> clapping when the plane lands <laughs> hey we landed <laughs> The tears are real right now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Unless you're a dad with little kids on the plane and you're doing it because of that. If the guy's just like, way, we've landed. It's like, oh, I'm like, oh, no, okay. <laughs> Having a single bed. Again, completely get what you mean. It, I just see it as like a little bit childish. I don't know. It, it seems bad of me. Uh, saying that but I think I, I had a double bed from when I was like 12, 13. Yeah, single beds are just not the one. I don't even know. Apart from when you're a child, I don't know why they exist because it's just pointless. Orange stains around their mouth after eating spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, it's an ick. I, I know what you mean. It just is like... Uh, don't come near me until you've washed your face another one of mine actually is when they've got like chocolate around their mouth or like a sauce around their mouth you know like after they've had like a takeaway or something like that and they've got like a, a bit of sauce in the corners yeah it's no it's not for me <laughs> i have a few but my main one is long nails or dirt under the nails yes 100%. I understand they might have a dirty job, but clean your bloody nails in the shower. She said it. <laughs> she went there and she said it. Yes, queen. I completely agree with this. So long nails on a guy is just not attractive at all. Like if they don't have their nails cut, but then they like shape it. Like, I just don't understand. Like just cut your nails. If they're any longer than sort of like this, it's just, it's just no, no, honey, go get them clippers. Yeah, dirt under your nails is just not a good look at all. Someone who is awkward at romantic gestures. So if they're not smooth, basically it's a no. <laughs> okay, I get you. I'm looking in the sense that Dom is quite romantic and he pulls stuff off like that really, really well but yeah if someone's awkward with that sort of stuff it's just it's a no you've got to do that sort of thing with confidence really haven't you i completely agree long nails are a no-no we've had quite a lot about long nails you know i i get it i get it it's every girl is just like no <laughs> oh and again ugly slash gross feet also put me off yeah 100%. Crap replies or replies that do not add up equals see ya. The door is down the corridor to your left. <laughs> no. Yes, 100%. If a guy replies really, really slow or they're just, there's no effort, it's just like really, like, I'm carrying this conversation on my own. I might as well talk to this wall. <laughs> I'm hoping that that was a fun video and um, that was my last one so i really hope you all enjoyed watching this video i found it very interesting to know what people's different icks were yeah make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my videos i'll be really really appreciative if you did that and yeah that's it Hope you guys are staying safe. Oh, I also want to mention, I know with like lockdown and everything, a lot of people are going to be like suffering um, and mental health cases are going to be like rising and stuff like that. So 
I know a lot of you might not like know me or maybe you've even spoken to me before, but literally simply drop, I'm going to pop my Instagram handle in here. Simply just drop me a DM, literally about anything. You don't even have to talk about what your troubles are. If you literally just want a conversation, I will happily be there and have a conversation with you because I don't want anyone to feel like they're on their own during this nasty virus and yeah it's a tough time on everyone so i just want everyone watching this video to not feel like they're alone or yeah so drop me a message if you're ever feeling lonely or upset or whatever and you either want to talk about your problems or just talk about something in general i'm here for you <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to end this video now. So thank you again for all of your support and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.